Vermont, small towns, rustic farms, picturesque mountains. The people of Vermont treasure their environment and their rural lifestyle. But will today's Vermont last until tomorrow? To answer that question, Coopers and Librand Consulting is building the Vermont Rural Land Simulation. This project hopes to demonstrate how individual decisions affect land use and society in the future. Let's explore a typical Vermont town. Our story begins in the mythical farming community of Treewell, Vermont. Treewell's land use controls include two-acre residential zoning, but few preservation or urban design ordinances. Downtown includes several retail shops, the majestic town hall, and a bed and breakfast. The general store and bank look out upon the old mill and historic blacksmith shop. Will Treewell retain its appealing rural character? You have just seen a town in a computer. This computer accelerates the passage of simulated time while users explore what-if scenarios. Instead of complicated mathematical formulas, as in a typical simulation model, computerized autonomous actors representing business leaders, politicians, workers, and homeowners interact and make decisions that affect Treewell's evolution. These decisions are guided by the simulation's current land use policies. We return to Treewell across a modern bridge ten simulated years in the future. Several new houses are set back on two-acre lots. As we approach the downtown, we see on the right that the grocery store sports a new parking lot. Downtown stores have changed ownership and a state grant helped construct a new multi-purpose community center. The general store and bank have been replaced with new buildings. The town's tourist appeal attracted a new factory outlet. Treewell has grown up. The present course led to Treewell becoming a modern village. But users can turn back the simulated clock and experiment with different land use policies. For instance, let's change the residential zoning to one quarter acre clustered lots. Also, let's implement an historic preservation program that offers tax credits to owners of historic buildings. What might happen this time? As we drive into Treewell, we notice a refurbished covered bridge funded by a state grant. Also, there are a few new houses clustered behind the trees. The new land use controls and historic preservation program have had a significant influence. Treewell's downtown still caters to the needs of the local population. Input from the town's residents and community leaders helped design a new bank, yet some storefronts are now empty. Treewell looks similar, but at some cost to its economic vitality. People who once used paper and pencil to develop their plans will now be able to visualize the impacts of their decisions immediately before they make those decisions in real life. In fact, the program will be able to utilize the demographic and economic data of almost any community. Inventive use of information technology is destined to help our cities and regions progress into the 21st century. Coopers and Librand Consulting believes that the Vermont Rural Land Simulation is an important step toward that destination.